guys, welcome to another wonderful episode of Foodies and Spice. Today on the show, we are making another beautiful recipe. Grilled fish is sit out in the lounge kind of recipe. Yeah, so I'm making grilled fish and beautiful jollof rice. And don't forget, I'm showing you how to make jollof rice with jollof mix. So you're going to sit back, relax, go call your friends, neighbors, and everybody. Foodies and Spice is about to start. <laughs> So for my grilled fish today, I'll be using croaker fish today. I actually like Titus fish a lot, most of you know, but today I'm using croaker fish. Yellow pepper, green pepper, red pepper, curry, I'll be using rosemary leaves, garlic and ginger, seasoning cubes and salt. And of course, I'll be mixing that marinade with um, oil. I also thought that I should show you how to, you know, enhance the flavor of your fish with orange. So I'll be using some orange juice and zest also for this fish and our 800 gram rice that's all and we are going to have smoky jollof rice so let's get to it Okay, so I have about half tablespoon of orange zest. Now, the aroma from the orange is fantastic. I'll be using about uh, half tablespoon of rosemary leaves. Now, if you don't have rosemary leaves, you can always use um, thyme. Now, nothing goes better with fish like garlic. Fish and garlic are best friends. So whenever you want to grill fish, cook fish, don't forget to add your garlic. So I'll be adding um, three cloves here. I'll be adding half a bulb of onion, about half a tablespoon of Nigerian powdered curry. Two seasoning cubes, about a teaspoon of salt, salt to your taste, half a teaspoon of ginger powder, then I'll be adding the orange juice. And this is just to catch the seed. You can allow the pulp fall into it too. I'm looking for about two to three tablespoons of orange juice. Then some oil to just put it together. About one tablespoon is good. So we have our fish marinade. Very easy marinade. Time to blend it. Make sure you clean your fish thoroughly. Remove the bile, remove the intestine. All right, so first I'll just pour my marinade into this bowl. Then 
Then I'll salt the fish. Just a little bit because there's salt already in that marinade. So just a little bit of salt. A little bit of black pepper. Now you have the right to pepper your fish anyhow you want. If you want to add the hot ataro dough, fine, you can blend everything in. I'm going to be scouring the fish that's put some line line on it. So I'll score the fish this to enable the marinade go into the fish very well. Yes, I said I was going to be adding some garlic into the fish. So I'm just going to open that up and place into the area where I scored. and go under the gills for those who like fish head then the belly okay so I'm going to allow it rest now get a foil wrap it and send it to my oven to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes on medium high heat and by the time it's doing that to we'll be cooking our jello fries Now to add some color to our fish, I'm going to be adding a medley of peppers. Yellow pepper, green pepper, red pepper, and yeah, peppers. Just to make it look um, very pretty. I'm just using about um, half of each. So I'll take my fish, place it on the foil, arrange my peppers on it. Now, who adds peppers without adding more onions? I know I blended onions before, but let's just give it some more onions. Okay. Now we're going to make our peppers a little bit tasty. So I'll just sprinkle some seasoning on it. It's fine, so we don't overpower all the marinade we put. A few rosemary and some oil. So I'll just drizzle the remaining orange juice, just press it out. Then we begin to envelope it. I am looking to cook this for the next 20 to 30 minutes and we'll be fine. Okay, so now that is done, we'll start cooking our jollof rice now. Okay, so I'll just add about one and a half cup of oil to fry this um, jollof mix. One and a half cup. No need to fry onions, no need to fry tomatoes, no need to fry pepper, garlic, 
and um, thyme and ginger spices they are all inside all So while it's cooking, it's a good time for me to go wash my rice. So my 800 gram rice is here. That's your popular cup of rice. Yeah? So rinse out the dust, rinse out whatever may have been used to keep it away from insects. Yeah. All right, so I'll check it. Now back to this rice. Now those of you who may be wondering what 800 gram of rice is, it's just like your um, four milk cups, okay? If you don't have 800 gram container, just use four milk cups, you'll be fine. Okay, so our rice is ready. Worst, we're back here. It's four minutes already. I'll just stir again. And this is good. So it's time for me to start adding the meat stock or water. If you're not using meat stock, you can use water. And this, my container here is 800 ml. And we need one liter. So I'll be getting my cup to measure out 200 ml to make it one liter. So that's it, 200 ml. All right, so time to start seasoning it. So I'll add salt to taste. I'll add seasoning powder to taste. I'm going to stir and of course taste to correct your seasoning. This tastes good, no need. We allow it to boil first before we add the rice. So it has come to the rolling boil and it's time to add the rice. Okay, so stir to make sure everything is incorporated properly. We'll cover and allow to cook till it's done. So now that rice is cooking, our uh, fish is still in the oven, um, it's always good to serve your rice and the protein with some side. So today I'll just be making a very simple coleslaw cabbage and carrot that's all mixed with any dressing of your choice so with the carrot I'll show you how to use um, a food processor to grate your carrots That's it. Carrot grated without hassles. So we are good.
Hi guys, so today we are eating fish. Yeah, good fish. Um, some of you now will come and say, we don't have oven, Gina. If you don't have oven, put it on top of charcoal. If you don't have charcoal, there are these grill pans. Yeah, you can still do the same. You can wrap in foil, put it on your green pan, do backward and forward, up and down. Yeah, you'll get your grilled fish. Yeah, if you know if you see grill and fry your fish. Okay, so it's really lovely. Fish gives you omega 3, it's good for um, your growing child as well. Yeah, those of you who have kids, give them fish, make sure you remove the bone. Okay, so today, um, immediately I came to the studio, I decided to take this beautiful picture before I start. I really love this dress. I took the picture, I posted it, and those of you on Facebook and Instagram have been admiring the dress. So I'm reading from um, at Foodie Spice on Facebook, and I've got over 52 comments here already. And Blessing Okun says, cute you and nice style. I love it. Thank you, um, Blessing. Amechi Etukudo says, beautiful. Punaba R embraces beautiful you there. Wakego Zekwe say looking good ma'am. Um, you look cute. Zipora or Diawa say you look beautiful. You can imagine just the way I'll be feeling by the time I get home today. Yeah, you look beautiful. You look beautiful. Thank you all so much. Habiba Ishaku say fabric, beautiful fabric, beautiful style, and beautiful you. Thank you so much. Njedeka Animo Kemori says, Mama Twins, love this fabric and it's good on you. Thank you so so much. I, I enjoy your messages. These messages make me very very happy so um the other day i gave out um, um some sort of giveaway to my top fans and it's so easy to find the top fans on facebook these days because facebook just gives you the top fan badge if you always go on my page you comment you like you um, share my videos yes yeah, so facebook will give you the top fan badge so please if you want to be part of um some of these giveaways sometimes and probably all the beautiful things we are thinking for top fan please always be on that page like comment share tell me you love me facebook will just give you top fan badge yeah all right thank you all so much i love you see you again soon okay so our rice is ready this looks really good the color beautiful color so it's time to fluff it this is one of the most interesting part of jello fries the fluffing part wow this color is really really good really really good with very little ingredients so and we achieved this and i can categorically tell you too that our fish will be ready yeah that grilled fish is going to be wow this jello fries is so fine you can you can see it just just take a look at this beautiful jello fries color okay that's the oven, fish is ready. Now you guys come and join me. This is my feast of orange marinated fish and correct smoky jollof rice that I use that jollof mix for. I know some of you finished the fish alone now with plenty here so not only me they chop them huh? This is really nice. Let me taste my fish. perfectly cooked fish. See, I expected it to be sweet or tasty because it's me that's cooking it, but man, this is good. This is so good. This is so good. I can finish it. I don't think I want to share. So guys, if you missed anything, go to www.youtube.com slash Gina Hikodi. 
to watch all the up episodes there. Don't forget to also check me out on Instagram at Gina Foodies and Spice. Facebook at Foodies Spice on Facebook, yeah. Wow, this is so lovely. And the medley of peppers. This yellow pepper is so sweet. Try all of them. This is nice. Mm. So we meet again next week. Please make sure you cook the top. You're beautiful. Love you all so much.